the traditional judge approach has been uh, you come in, you plead guilty, you get scolded, told what you're doing wrong, you get jail time, you get probation, and then you're shoot off to go and be a good boy or girl. And if you then have a problem and if you uh, get a new charge or mess up on your probation terms, then we're back again on a new crime, on a new probation violation, it just begins a cycle. Um, traditionally, judges weren't involved in anything beyond the judgment and sentence for the defendant. Uh, in many judges' opinion, and definitely in mine, that's a failure. Um, to simply see someone for a moment, pass judgment on a case, and then never see the person again, um, we're doing a disservice to the community and the people in front of us. So there's a trend to try to, from the judiciary, um, approach defendants with the therapeutic approach, which is more of a, tell me about you, why are you in this position, what's happened in your life that makes you find yourself making decisions like this. Uh, and where therapeutic courts come in is if I can identify an issue, it's alcohol driven. That's why I'm an alcoholic, I can't stop drinking, that's why I got my DUI. Um, if it's, I only stole those things from Walmart because I was high on drugs or I needed to sell some things so I could get my next score I'm, I'm a slave to this disease, um, but I want help. More overlooked, veterans. Uh, people that have real PTSD issues or other issues after coming back from serving. Um, those are cases that are hard to diagnose. Often the person isn't comfortable sharing those issues and they get ignored by society. Uh, and then we also have domestic violence cases where it can be uh, a symptom of a family or a culture. Uh, and it needs to be remedied. And so for me, um, it's any case where there's an underlying issue that might have given rise to this behavior and the person is accepting accountability, admitting what happened, admitting they were wrong, but also saying, I want help to improve from this situation. And if I can fix this, then I'll be in a different place. And just helping one person like that has such a monumental effect for our community. Not just in redu reducing crime and reducing costs between court costs and jail costs and probation costs and everything else, but they become a productive member of society. They get a job, they pay taxes, they have families, they have kids, they become invested in the community. It changes everything. Uh, programs like these can change lives. Someone petitions to be part of the program uh, if the record isn't too bad and if it looks like they genuinely want to make a change, um, then we have a, a committee that reviews the petitions and if they're accepted, then they get an evaluation with the appropriate provider. So maybe it's Catholic Charities for Mental Health or maybe it's uh, the Center for Substance Abuse. Uh, maybe it's Jorge Chacon for Domestic Violence, that sort of thing. And if the evaluation says this person's a good candidate and we're recommending 12 months or 24 months of treatment, then they're in the program. And they come and they meet with me twice a month. Uh, we talk about how's it going. Everybody else in the program is there too. So there's this camaraderie and this uh, idea of um, support from your peers. You know, we're, we're better together, a rising tide and all that. Uh, and if they go through the program successfully, doesn't mean they can't have a relapse, we'll talk about it, doesn't mean they're gonna be excluded, um, then their conviction gets dismissed. So not on the record, never happened. They're not on probation, um, they can move forward. And the numbers on these things where people have been enrolled in the program and successfully completed it, the uh, instances of recidivism are so much shockingly less than any other demographic from people who have been in the system. Especially in district courts where it's really the people's court where I'm dealing with individuals more than any other level of the judiciary. Um, the old approach isn't working and we're not doing a service to our community. You know, as judges, we need to do better. Uh, so I feel like this is a step in that direction and um, it can only benefit our community.